In this video, I'll show you how to take a screenshot on your laptop. Let's dive in. There are a handful of easy shortcuts for taking a screenshot. To capture a specific area of your screen, press the Windows key plus Shift plus S on your keyboard. Your screen will dim, and then you can drag your mouse to select the area that you want to capture in a rectangular format. It's automatically copied to your clipboard, so you can paste it wherever you want the image to go by selecting Ctrl plus V on your keyboard or right-clicking and selecting Paste. Alternatively, if you first want to make edits or markups to your desired screenshot, you would follow the same steps. But this time, once you've selected your desired area to capture, click on the dialog box, which will open the Snipping Tool Editor. You can also open up your image in Paint if you need more advanced editing options. In the Snipping Tool Editor, you can make simple markups with a ballpoint pen, highlighter, or in this case, I want to draw attention to a specific area on my graph. Once you've made the desired markups, you could save the edited screenshot directly to a folder on your computer, or right-click the image and select Copy, or use the keyboard shortcut Control plus C. Then you would paste it into your desired location. If you want to quickly capture your entire screen, simply press the Windows key plus Print Screen on your keyboard. It will then take a picture of your entire computer screen and automatically save it in your Pictures file as a screenshot. This is a super fast way to quickly capture a screen as you're working. There are additional screenshot options as well if you open the Snipping Tool. You can locate it by searching for the Snipping Tool in your Apps folder or looking for the icon with the little scissors. Alternatively, you could press the Print Screen button on your keyboard at any time. One of the options that you have is called Freeform. By dragging your mouse around the exact area that you want to capture, this allows you more control over what you're screenshotting. And it will show you how the image will look once you're done with your screenshot. Once I let go of my mouse, it will automatically save this to my screenshot folder in my picture library and to my clipboard. Another useful feature available in the snipping tool is the ability to record your screen. Select the video icon and then click New. Similar to capturing a screenshot, you're going to select the area of your screen that you want to record. Then you'll select whether or not you want it to be silent or you want to also record audio. Anything within this white rectangle space will be recorded. Once I click Start, I get a brief countdown, and then any movements or sound that I make will be recorded. But again, just the movements made within this rectangle. Let's do a quick recap of the different keyboard shortcuts we learned today. To open the snipping tool and use any of the screen capture or recording features, use the keyboard shortcut Print Screen. To capture a specific area of your screen, press the Windows key plus Shift plus S. To capture your entire screen and automatically save it in the Screenshots folder, use the Windows key plus Print Screen. In fact, now that you know how to take a screenshot, this might be a good screen to capture. Now you're a screenshot pro. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more quick tips and tech tricks.